Well, good morning, children. As you can see, Felix is all dressed for this cold weather. You know, Felix, I just found out that it's been snowing on our mountains. And, and, and I, I, w I would love to go and see what it looks like. Would you like to go and see what the snow looks like? <laughs> well, me too. And um, it's the first snow for the season. You know, God is so faithful. He allows the rain to come when it should come. He even allows the snow. And I'm, I'm so excited. You know, there are very few people that can actually see snow. And we are one of the fortunate places in South Africa where we can go and in a short drive actually see snow. I mean to make snowballs and to throw one another with the snowballs and to actually build a little snowman. I mean those are things that sometimes we only read about in books but we can actually do it Felix. Isn't that exciting? Well children you know it's uh, cold because there's snow on the mountain and you can see Felix has got his scarf on and he's got a warm jacket and I've also got a woolly little hat on today. So I mean yesterday Felix was wearing it but today I'm wearing it Felix because my ears were getting cold and uh, I think it's time just to keep nice and snug and warm and I wonder how many of you can actually have fires in your house. You know Felix it would be lovely to have a nice fire sometimes at night where the flames are just burning. Well children as normal it's time for us to get going and you must get your Bibles and Felix I'm going to ask you again if you will just hold the, the Bible for us we are going to read out of there just now. Can you see that Felix? Okay your scarf's in the way a little bit. <laughs> And um, we're going to first sing and then we are going to read a little bit of the Bible and then of course we're going to have a children's story. Are you ready children? Do you have your Bibles and you're ready to sing? Well Felix, I think we must just sing that one that we always sing and you know which one that is. Yes, it's that correct. Are we downhearted? No, no, no. Children, are you ready to sing that one? And then, um, you know, uh, I think we'll sing it twice. Is that all right, Felix? Can we sing it twice? Okay, we're going to sing it twice through. Are we downhearted? No, no, no. Are we downhearted? No, no, no. Troubles may come and troubles may go. We trust in Jesus, come well or woe. Are we downhearted? No, no, no. Well, children, you know, to me, that one's so important. You know, when I look around us and I think of all the blessings, we really don't have to be downhearted. You know that, Felix. Okay, well, let's sing it again. Are we downhearted? No, no, no. Are we downhearted? No, no, no. Troubles may come and troubles may go we trust in jesus come well or woe are we downhearted no 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 well children i'm sure that by the time we get to the end of this whole lockdown which you know what Felix I just heard some good news last night that we can actually start going to church again so not this weekend but next week weekend we're going to go back to church and it's so exciting to be able to get around and to see the different things and children next week I'm hoping to do some recordings in different places like we said all the time hey Felix are you looking forward to that <laughs> he's been all over well let's go to Romans and we're going to read now the book of Romans is a very difficult one but I'm going to try and share something with you there Felix you know it's taken out of Romans chapter 7 and we're going to be reading from verse 21 so I find this law at work when I want to do good oh that's interesting he says there's something in that there's a law that when I want to do do good he says evil is right there with me for in my inner being I delight in God's law, but I see another law at work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind, and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within my members. What a wretched man I am, who would rescue me from this body of death. Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's interesting. No, so what I'm reading here, Felix, 
is that sometimes inside of us we've got a good thing happening and we've got a bad thing happening and sometimes we're worried about which one's going to be the strongest and as Paul says there sometimes when he wants to do the good things he's done the bad things children have you ever found that that sometimes you want to be good but then you do something naughty bad well Felix you know this is interesting the story I want to tell you about is a little boy who had a dream now he was a uh, American uh, or Native American as they call them he was an Indian you know these those are you those kind of Indians you know cowboys and Indians well he was a little Indian boy and um, he had a dream and, and you know children do you have dreams you know Felix you you told me last night you had a dream Yes, I remember. And you were a little scared because it was like a nightmare. You know, children and this little boy had a dream and he was a little scared because in the dream he, he, he realized that there was something going on and he didn't know what to do. And, but his father was the chief of that tribe and his father was a very wise man. So he went to his father one day and he said, Dad, you know, I had a dream last night and the dream really worried me. And the father said to him, well, my son, what was the dream? And he said, well, in my dream, I dreamt there were two wolves fighting. There was a black wolf and a white wolf, an evil one and a good one. And they were fighting like anything. And they were rah, really getting in. And I was scared. I was watching. I was scared because it really looked terrifying. And they were showing their teeth and they were growling. And they were really fighting with one another. And I was worried. And then all of a sudden I woke up. And when I woke up, I thought, oh, no. I I don't know who's won you know which which one won did the did the evil one win or did the bad one you know um die you know was the did the good one win and dad please i don't know can you help me and uh his father who was the chief remember looked at him and he said my son you know that's a very interesting dream that you had about these two wolves a, a good one and a bad one and how that they were fighting and it's it's a very good a uh, thing that you worried about as to which one was the strong one he says but let me think a little bit you say you say you had a the evil one fighting against the the good one and the good one was fighting against the evil one and they both looked like they were going to you know eat one another up and you want to know which one's going to win well let me just think a little bit and Felix what would you have thought would be the answer here well I don't I'm hoping so that the good one would have won but you know, maybe the bad one could have won, Felix. So how do we know which one's going to win? And you know, the, the, the chief of the tribe who was a wise man looked at his son and he said to him, you know, son, the answer is quite simple as to which one is going to win. So the son said, dad, how do you know? What is the answer? And his dad looked at him and said to him, Felix, he said to him, I want you to know that if you want to know which one's going to win, it's the one that you feed so if you feed the good one that's inside of your heart if you constantly do good things you're making that strong wolf stronger the good wolf stronger and in the end he will actually beat the bad wolf but if you feed the bad wolf then the bad wolf is going to survive do you understand what that means children do you understand Felix <laughs> You don't understand well it just means it's like this if I am going to do something naughty I must actually stop right there and ask Jesus to help me because that's what it says I thank God through Jesus our Lord that I must ask him to help me and right there he's going to come and he's going to help me and by helping me he's going to feed the good side of me and then the good wolf will become much stronger will you remember that Felix well every time that you want to do something naughty just remember go to Jesus and say please Jesus you know I've got this terrible struggle inside of me and I want to do good please help me and believe that as it says there thanks be to God that we will have victory through Jesus Christ our Lord so children, remember that if you want to be a strong, good wolf, feed that good wolf by doing good things. And if you can't do it by yourself, ask Jesus to help you. Will you remember that, children? Well, Felix, it looks like it's not going to rain today, but it is time to say goodbye. Bye-bye, children. 
We'll see you again tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Um, and you know what, Felix? I think uh, we've had a lovely day today. Well, children, bye.